This discussion will define critical numbers. Here we go. A number K is a critical number of S if K is in the domain of S and either of the following statements is true. First, K is a root of the derivative. In other words, if you plug in uh, K into the derivative, you get zero. Or, if you plug in K into the derivative and the derivative is undefined. So, in either one of these two cases, if K is in the, in the domain of F, but it's not in the domain of F prime, or if it's a root of F prime, then K is said to be a critical number of F. Let's uh, find a critical number given a function. So, we're given this function. We're going to work an example here. Find the critical numbers of F of X equals x squared times e to the x. Alright. Well, the domain of f of x includes all real numbers. Remember, to be a critical number, it has to be in the domain of the function. So, any real number could be a critical number of f of x. But, it's not only got to be in the domain of f of x, it has to either make the derivative undefined, or it has to be a root of the derivative. So we need the derivative. Let's get the derivative. That's going to require what rule are we going to need here? That's right. We're going to need the product rule. Because we have the product of x squared and e to the x. So we'll say x squared times the derivative of e to the x, oh, which is just e to the x, plus e to the x times the derivative of x squared. What's the derivative of x squared? 2x. Oh, so we see that the derivative of s is equal to x squared e to the x plus 2x e to the x. Uh, we'll factor that to just kind of get it in as pretty a form as possible. We'll be polite and factor out a, notice there's an x here and an x here and an e to the x in both, in both terms on either side of the addition symbol. So both add-ins have an x and an e to the x. We'll factor out x e to the x which will give us x plus 2. Now, this uh, function is also defined for all real numbers. Uh-oh, that's too bad, because any place where it was undefined would have been uh, a number that could have been one of our critical numbers. Oh, but also, if we can find where this function is equal to 0, we can find critical numbers. So we'll set the function equal to 0. We've got x times e to the x times x plus 2, and we'll set it equal to 0, and any solution to this equation will be a critical number of f. Well, whenever you have a number times a number times a number equals 0, you know that one of those numbers is 0. Could it be x? Well, yes, x could be 0. Um, could it be e to the x? No, e to the x never equals 0. If you, if you think about the function of e to the x, it looks like this, and it's never equal to zero. So e to the x is never equal to zero. What about x plus two? Could that line ever equal zero? Sure. If, you, if we subtract two from both sides, we see that if x is equal to negative two, it would be equal to zero. Hence, we see that zero and negative two are values that make the derivative of f equal to zero. We call them zeros or roots sometimes. So those two numbers are the critical numbers of f. So the critical numbers of f are 0 and negative 2.